The Supreme Court has dismissed the application of the People's Democratic Party's Emeka Ihejoha, seeking an overturn of the Apex Court's January the 14th judgment, which nullified the electoral victory of Ihejoha and ordered that a certificate of return be issued to Senator Hope Uzadima of the All Progressive Congress. Six of the justices that sat in the panel unanimously agreed that a decision by the Apex Court, led by Justice Tanko Muhammad, should stand. Uh, Justice Chima Weze gave a disagree. Our correspondent, Tamatin Uyi, reports. It's on dispute result by the Supreme Court of Nigeria had been set aside by the Apex Court in the past. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, had revealed that a seven-man panel of Supreme Court justices led by Justice Tanko Muhammad had been misled by the All Progressives Congress, APC, and so the judgment should be reversed. However, after several weeks of bickering by both political parties and postponement by the Supreme Court, the Apex Court finally made its decision known. Today, the Supreme Court has affirmed its decision that Hope Uzodima was legitimately elected the governor of Imo State. It has refused the application to set aside its judgment as an appeal of court process. We want to appreciate the Supreme Court and we also want to appreciate our colleagues on the other side. This is the essence of having a court. Instead of resorting to violence or self-help, they have come before the court. The Supreme Court uh, 6 to 1 dismissed the application on the ground that it lacks merit, that the Supreme Court does not have the jurisdiction to review its judgment or set his judgment, unless on certain exceptional grounds, which none of those grounds uh, was uh, playing out in that case. Councils involved in the case say it was clear that the Supreme Court displayed the highest form of independence, as the judgment by the seven-man panel had one out of seven, Justice Chima Nwezi, recant on his earlier decision and take the side of the PDP. The fundamental issue is that it shows the independence of each justice of the Supreme Court in um, determining issues before them. One of the justices dissented. So as far as he is concerned, he found that the, uh, the decision ought to have been set aside, and he set it aside. What is the, then the implication of his decision? The implication of his decision is that he expressed his opinion, but then the majority carried the day. In other words, the authority for whatever it is now is the decision of the six justices that will not be the authority for subsequent application that will come. Some believe that with the new judgment, the case has finally been resolved and there is no hope for further appeal. The court has spoken twice that Uzo Dima is the governor of, of Imo State. I want to appeal to everybody to go back and work with him. The Supreme Court will not speak a third time on this matter. If any other person brings any application similar to this, we rely on the decision just delivered today to be an authority for us to ask the court not to uh, the majority. So that's the issue. Many say justice should not only be done, but to be seen to be done. Now that the Supreme Court has served its own dose of justice, it is hoped that governance can now resume in Imo State. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa. With me in the studios is Barrister Zenet Abiri. Thank you very much for staying with us. Thank you for having me. What's your take on the Supreme Court uh, saying it cannot uh, review its own decision? It's only acting in accordance to the powers granted to it under our constitution, which makes it the court of final and last resort. So there's no court in Nigeria who can sit, um, sit in appeal over its own decision. That is why we have the court in hierarchy. And the Supreme Court remains the apex court. Asking the Supreme Court to overrule itself and review its decision outside the provision, the ambit it is allowed to, which is to correct clerical errors or give effect to the decision made already, will open the doors to so many frivolous applications coming in, even at the lower courts, which will, of course, open us up, uh, the judicial system up to endless litigations. Okay, in, in, in your position as a lawyer that yes. is vast with uh, what goes on in the judiciary, um, is this the right decision uh, by the Supreme Court or was there credible reasons for a review of the election? 
There were some points raised that I think uh, we had points that should have been raised at the lower courts. So there are, um, you can't raise those fresh points at the stage that um, at the stage of um, appeal. Those points, well, they were good, interesting points, but does not give the Supreme Court power. The, the Supreme Court gets its power from the Constitution, and the Constitution is clear on the finality of the Supreme, of the Supreme Court's decision. I think given, uh, reviewing the, ju uh, the judgment would have amounted to, an, to abuse of um, its powers and would have meant the total disregard for the powers conferred on it, the limitations of its powers conferred mm -hmm. on it by the Constitution. So they acted in line. They acted in line with what my expectation, and I think what they did was fair in the interest of justice. And in okay. the what, of justice. what in uh, your opinion are the implications of the precedent being set by this ruling? It just means it's basically is it maintain status quo, which this is the current position it has, that the um, the president have been that he cannot sit on his own he cannot sit on appeal on his own decision. So it gives further it strengthens that um, position. It cannot be used as a point for argument in subsequent cases when this kind of applications come up. So it's a strong precedent. A six to one. Uh, majority judgment is a strong precedent. Yeah, well, well, what are the options for the parties now that the whole drama has, you know, screeched to a halt? There yes. is no um, other open litigation for both parties. What should be the next steps? The next steps would be for all parties to abide by the decision, uh, the ju judgment of the Supreme Court, and do all within their power to ensure uh, that. Um, the the office um, the office of the governor of um, Imo State is run uh, smoothly by the uh, new the governor that was installed. Thank you very much for your Thank thoughts you. and the news.